For these students at King Edward's School in Selly Oak, life has never included forced labour, starvation or racial segregation. But that's exactly what this woman went through at their age. Holocaust survivor Kitty Hart Moxon, now in her 80s, came to the school this week to talk to students about her experiences in the Lublin ghetto and later at the notorious concentration camp Auschwitz. It was a lot easier to take a lot of people, shut them into uh, an airtight room and throw in the gas. Uh, they didn't have to shoot them. Why they didn't shoot them? It was expensive in bullets and it was traumatic for the people who have to do it. And, the, and if they shut them into somewhere and poured in the gas, they didn't, you know, it didn't affect themselves, they didn't affect the pillars. That's For King Edward's students, it was a rare opportunity to come face to face with living history, but Kitty left them in no doubt about the importance of not allowing history to repeat itself. For, for, for 50 years, people didn't know anything about, certainly not about Auschwitz, and very little about the Holocaust. It's only since the subjects come into the schools that you know, there's been more awareness, and the government is, is very, very keen for us to do this in the schools for many reasons, but one of it is, is of course, racism, you know? And unless people understand what happens in the racial discrimination, they don't know how to protect themselves. So I always think it's, it's, it's a way of protecting people in the future, because we don't know what's going to happen. And people need to be aware and need to be vigilant, because, like I said before, it can happen any time, any place, to anybody. Okay, it happened to me, but it could happen equally to you. You know, you don't know. Kitty was only 12 years old when the Nazis invaded, but she was eventually caught, rounded up and sent to the death camps. For these students, it would be impossible to imagine the hardship she went through, but they were still touched by her words. I thought it was very interesting and it was quite enlightening about how um, Kitty survived all these uh, experiences. I, I wouldn't think I would survive personally, but she's, it's been amazing what she's been through and how she survived. Well, it's quite hor horrifying to... Learn, because, of course, like we've read about this in the past and we've been taught in history, but it's not quite the same as hearing an actual Holocaust survivor. It is quite belittling and, again, horrifying. And so I think it is essential to listen to the accounts of such people and, of course, as time goes on, they're not getting any younger and there, there are not many Holocaust survivors left. And so I think it's essential, like she said, to prevent this kind of thing happening again in the future, that we listen to their accounts and learn from the past and prevent it happening again in the future. Well, the boys all study Nazi Germany in their careers here, and I, I, they have some sense of it. But I think that when you hear someone like Kitty talking, it completely changes your reaction to it. I started that evening wondering how on earth could you survive what she described, but actually by the end I understood by the luck, but also by great qualities that she had herself, that she made herself survive. And I think that's a really important idea for pupils.